Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, and I'm going to show you the first of the steps for programming DMR. These are going to be real basic and one step at a time. For anyone who has knowledge of how to program DMR, you're not going to want to sit through these. But for those of you who are just getting started, it may be a little advanced for you, but we're going to take it one step at the time. So I happen to have the Alinko DRMD500 here. And my friend has an Anytone ATD578. He has my program. And he has built this marvelous talk group list. This is one of the first things you have to do before you even think about working on the memory list. And he has a list that I want because I like to meet him on the air. And then I can chase around a little bit and find what group he's listening to or talking in at the moment. So in the RT Systems program, I come to this page for talk groups. And I go File, Export. And I pay attention carefully to where it's putting it. I want it in Documents, Anytone, ATD 578. It does not matter where you put it. You can put it on your desktop. You can put it in your downloads. You just have to remember where you put it. And this is where I want it. It's going to be a comma delimited file, and I'm going to call it Rick Talk Groups. I can call it anything I want. Well, I'm finished with that one now. So I have my 500, and I'm my file has got a lot of analog in it, but I'm ready to add some digital. So I'm going to go to Talk Groups. I'm going to go File, Import, and I'm going to make sure I'm in the right directory. Documents, Anytone, ATD 578. It's always good to check. It could have gone somewhere else. And here's my RIC Talk Groups CSV. A lot of other stuff that I don't need. That's the file I want. And I open it. And now it's a computer. You are smarter than your computer. And it has to ask a series of questions. This one begins that I'm just going to click Next. Here, what I'm looking for, does it lay out in normal columns? Or do I have quotes surrounding things? Or am I still all messed up like this? If I am, pick another delimiter. If it came out of one of ours, it'll be very automatic. Click Next. Now, this is where we match things up and tell the program what's in each column. It's going to try its best to guess, and again, if the file came out of one of our programmers, it guesses pretty well. But I'm finding a lot of these files turning up on the internet, and there's no telling what kind of headers they used. And so you just have to look at what's here and pull the drop down and tell it what it matches up to. Doesn't have to be in any set order. You tell it what it matches up to in the program. I go next. I'm going to overwrite, and all of them are going to go, and I'm going to tell it finish. Guess what? I now have 107 talk groups in my radio, and they're all group calls. They're not the private calls where I see the people's names, but they are the group calls. So I can go out to the talk groups, the rooms, the reflectors, and I can find people to talk to. There's this one here with this unknown out here at the contact one that was already in the file. 
So I'm just going to right click and delete it. It's all gone. Save it up. These are now ready to use in my memory channels. And I can set them up and be on the air talking to my friend in North Carolina in no time. Just wanted you to know. Hope it helps. I'll be back soon with what you do with them next. Remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.